One is airflow. Uh, we talk a lot about check and changing your filters inside your turn. Uh, the reason is because your unit needs to breathe. So when it cannot breathe, it's going to frost up, freeze up, and stop working because now it cannot breathe. Uh, another common aspect of the freezing unit is the slow in refrigerant. Um, we kind of hit refrigerant pretty hard a few weeks ago, um, but you should need to add refrigerant every year to your unit. And if it's leaking out, if the unit is frozen, then obviously we need to find the leak and fix the leak. Uh, the unit itself is not just going to run low on Freon all of a sudden or, or use the Freon it has been using for 10 years and all of a sudden it needs two pounds. Uh, obviously something has changed, it has leaked out somewhere, we need to find that leak, stop it from happening, charge it back to the proper amount and then you'll be good to go. But the freezing is usually caused by refrigerant and by airflow. So uh, a thing I would do myself if I saw it freezing up or frozen is to make sure my filters are clean and nothing is stopping the airflow. Uh, if everything's good there, then I would call and have a technician come out and check it because most likely you are low in refrigerant. Or again, you could have another airflow problem of you know the blower motor thing like that not working uh things you cannot do yourself but the filter is something you can do yourself so check that and make sure it's good to go if it is then call a professional